All right, next let's get into warping. So over here, if you're warping a track, you'll notice all these gray little arrows, and these are noticing different transients in your song. So when you're warping a track, what I find the easiest thing to do is figure out what the first four beats are, basically the first bar. So there we go. So this would be a one, two, three, four, one, right? So I know that this is going to be the start of the second bar. And this gets us closer, and then we kind of do the same thing on the next. All right. And we keep doing this until it starts to tighten up our beat. There we go. Looks like it's starting to line up now. So then we could just use the speaker with the metronome. Then we can correct any place that we find it off. And it is over here, it's just slightly off, so I'm just gonna move it. over, check the speaker, all right great so that would be a warp track so now that we got the basics down let me show you just a, a couple uh, shortcuts here if you have a warp marker that's yellow you can hit shift and you can actually move the waveform around. Now if you have a gray marker, you can hit shift and move the marker itself. Now let's say you want to change the location of this drum hit right here, but you don't want to affect the rest of the song. What you can do is hit the command button, control if you're on a PC, and now you can move between those without affecting the outside and it'll create three warp markers for you.